Revient comrades. Tf Colm here. It officially says it's recording. For some reason, it will not record my face in the corner again. I have not attempted to understand that. It also will will capture the game, but it's my voice or the game's sound. So music is turned off. As much as I love the music, it's turned off. Now, I decided to play Dream Daddy because, um, a lot of my videos are always really, really big deal. Like, they're really sad news, usually. Every once in a while, there's some good news. But, um, I don't have a lot of just carefree me playing video games. So, I decided to do that again. For some reason, my audio is insanely low whenever I'm speaking. So, I'm trying to figure out where this microphone is that I'm apparently missing completely. Ooh, microphone, where are you? I have a headphone jack, and I have a full headset that I cannot find right now, which would be very helpful with recording. And likely in that situation, I could could record music and audio as well. Because they were both recording, it's just the music drowned out my voice. And for whatever reason, I couldn't make the music softer and my voice louder. I don't know. I'm guessing it's up here. Did that make my voice louder in any way? That lo looks like a microphone. I don't know. I'm, I'm asking you guys. I'm not even doing it live. But if for any reason you can't hear me, you now have full permission to turn it up. Because there's no music that will drown me out that you've got to fight with. You know, you don't want to turn audio up and be like, you're screaming of the music and be like, where is his voice? Because you can hear like a little whisper of my voice usually. But whatever. So I decided to go back to the Dream Daddy. Because it's been quite a long time since we've played. I'm assuming this one's mine. It's... Why? It's been since last year. 1230, 2017. And it is currently... 2-12-2018. Dun, 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 Big difference there. So, let's load my file. It's still having, like, noise, it looks like, just not the music itself, which is interesting. It's amazing music. Like, the soundtrack for this game is, like, top of the line, best ever. I love it to be bits and pieces. Bits, pieces, whatever I was saying. So it's really disappointing that kind of the sound and the recording. But we can figure this out along the way. So, here we go. We have just moved into our new house, uh, if you need an update. Me and my gorgeous daughter, Amanda. We just moved into our new house. We just moved across town. We didn't really go very far. And here we are. Do -do -do -do. Set the scene. <laughs> okay. We pull up to the new house and step outside. The lawn is freshly mown and the for sale sign is still in the yard. <laughs> hi -ya! And with a swift kick from Amanda, the for sale sign is no more. Nice swarm sweepy. I forgot how I looked. I love those eyes. Oh my gosh. I, I think I said that last time I recorded. I just love those that eye color. It's just, oh. I really want purple eyes. Speaking of that, I'm having a debate whether I would keep my blue eye contacts or going straight back to the clear, which would be my um, hazelish heterochromia eyes. Because I do have heterochromia. Um, sectional heterochromia. Not, not like one blue eye, one green eye. But like a blue section, a green section. A lot of people call that hazel, but hazel is an actual blend. This is a distinct sections. Um, do that or go to a new color for my contacts. So I have three options there. I'd love for you guys to vote down below. You can't see my face right now, so you can't really tell the difference. But um, you can probably find my pictures on Twitter. <laughs> I'll actually I'll try to make a vote voting thing on Twitter of like all the, of my eye color. With blue and with my natural eye color, and then there'll be another option for a different color contact. Okay. I forgot what voices I gave everyone. Mine should have myself, I suppose. Amanda, did I give her like an American accent? I thought I gave her an American accent. I don't know what I gave her. I'll like make it my accent just a little higher. I don't I don't even remember. I may just like be completely changing all the accents nay, but whatever. Nice form, sweet pea. <laughs> I got a problem with authority. I'm so proud. Hmm. Man, all that karate shocking. 
Chalking. Chalking. All that karate chalking. All that karate chopping tuckered me out. I could really go for a sandwich. <laughs> An ice cream sandwich. Sweetie, it's 10 a.m. It's never too early for ice cream. Ooh. Now, this immediately starts seeing which dad will, in will encounter. So, let's go... I hate the dad there. That's the thing, I've already played this game, and I can never get the good endings, I always get the bad endings. So, because <laughs> I'm bad at this, um, which one should I do? I don't like the coffee one, though. It's more like, I love that dad, I've just been, I've seen, I've, I've played the coffee intro so much, I've practically memorized it by now, you know, like, stop. But, uh, let's do the park. <laughs> For moving us to an area where the dog to person ratio is very high. I only want what's best for you. Yeah. I hope you're prepared for the frequency at which I interrupt conversations to yell dog and to rock it way up. I mean, you do that a lot already. Yeah. Hey, it's a dog! I scared my cat. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dante. I didn't mean to shout. He's like, don't shout. I'm sleeping. <laughs> oh. False alarm, it's just a funny shaped rock. To be fair, some dogs look like funny shaped rocks. If you want to see real dogs so bad, let's go to the park around the corner. Always bring a war chest. I want a war chest. Where can I buy one? It's a, it's a dad tip, I need one. Amanda and I begin to, begin to stroll through the neighborhood. I can't believe how beautiful it is outside. Kids are playing in the street, the flowers are in bloom, the faint smell of a nearby barbecue drifts through the air. I hate barbecue. That's one of those, like, what? Like, everyone loves barbecue. I don't like barbecue. It's just not... Especially barbecue sauce. It's completely disgusting to me. I don't like grilled things, except for grilled shrimp. Grilled shrimp is okay. But I just don't like grilled food. And barbecue sauce smells and tastes disgusting to me. So barbecues aren't very fun for me. Not at all. Nay. Eh. Plus, you have to interact with people. I don't talk to people. You know this. <laughs> Whatever. Um... <laughs> This place is nice. Hmm. Too nice. I don't trust it. Good eye, Amanda. <laughs> That's actually what he said. <sighs> don't trust anything. Always keep your paranoia high. And your trusting low. That's a thing. Yes. Good eye, honey. You can never be too careful. See that baby in the stroller over there? Government operative. Hmm. We're on to you, baby. <laughs> I love how she always looks like dead tired. I relate, I relate Amanda. As a senior in high school, which is what she is right now, yeah, I was always tired. I'd work nonstop just to hope to skim by in class. It was a hard, it was a hard, it was very hard. Or just, I mean, survival for me was so hard. So having school on top of that, because high school was a very, very rough time for me outside of school, because I had a lot of abusive situations, a lot of rape situations. My mental health was declining very fast. So having school on top of that was horrific. I wanted to say hell, but that, that's kind of a funny thing for me, because, you know, I go to the underworld in my religion, so it's, you know, whatever. <laughs> But, um, so yeah, I, I, I relate to the tired eyes there that she has. Okay. We walk for a while and eventually end up at a small park. Toddlers chase each other through the playground, and dogs of all shapes and sizes romp through the glass. Through the glass. Dogs running through the glass. That's kind of scary. Through the grass. <laughs> it's pretty crowded, but Amanda spots a nice empty bench. We start to make our way over to it when... Heads up! <coughs> Ow. A frisbee suddenly hits me in the face. I can relate. No, anytime I watch any sport game, sport game, you can tell I don't know sports, but like basketball, football, I haven't watched baseball yet. But like anytime I watch any game, kickball, kickball is one of them, volleyball, I always get hit with the ball. Like I'm not even playing and I always get smacked in the face with the ball. Like leave me alone. So I stopped playing games. <laughs> well, stop playing physical games. <laughs> I'm gonna give, we're gonna, we're about to meet Brian. I'm gonna give him like a, uh, not my normal accent, maybe like a southern 
I don't know. I'll see what I can do for him. But he's gonna be American. American. <laughs> Oof. <coughs> Corgi with an eight-flat handkerchief tied around his neck bounds up to me, wagging his tail. Ooh. Dolphin moment of truth. What do I say to the, to the cute pupper? Hmm. I'll do that one. Did you throw this thing on my head? Bark. He runs around a circle and nudges my leg with his nose. Oh god, this is the cutest dog! I'm going to pet the dog! But where do I pet the dog? <gasps> I don't know! Mm. We need some chin scratches in here. Give him a little scratches under the chin. Oof. Oh, his tail is wagging at top speed. He definitely could have caught that. I, I was going to do an accent. You definitely could have caught that. No, 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 I can't do country, no. I live in Texas and I can't do a country accent. <laughs> you definitely could have caught that. I'll do my fake, my fake American accent, there we go. A guy in a Hawaiian shirt jogs over to us and takes the frisbee. Yeah. You know, you know, frisbees are traditionally caught with your hands, not with your face. Jack did that one, and it was like really, like he did like a R, like, I'm not even kidding, Jack did like the sexiest thing in the corner. <laughs> I don't even know why I mentioned that, just I can't, I can't read that line without picturing that in my head now. And this guy reminds me so much of my ex, that I'm kind of like, I don't want to ever date you. But anytime, I try to date all the dads in my first playthrough, and then just the third date, I would choose someone else. I chose Joseph, and then I replayed again and chose Robert. Both the times I didn't get a, I didn't get the good ending, but um, they're my two favorites. So this guy reminds me so much of my ex, and for whatever reason, even though we had kind of a messy breakup, for whatever reason, all my dates I kept getting like A's with him, and all the others I get like F's, and I'm just like I don't want to date this one. <laughs> No, I do not want this one! Okay. So, I try to piss them off and it makes them happy. I don't like it. I don't like it! <laughs> okay. Well, you're traditionally not supposed to aim at people's heads. But I'm fine. Thanks. Uh. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I'm Brian, by the way. I'm... Elijah. This is my daughter, Amanda. Look over at Amanda, only find her sitting on the ground, rubbing the dog's tummy. <laughs> I taught her well. <laughs> I taught her well. Dogs stink. Everyone's gonna be like, no, no. I like dogs. They're cute and everything else. And they're, they're cuddly, but I hate the smell of dog. And I don't even mean like wet dog, just like dry dog. No dog smells good to me. They all smell like outside. I guess that's the only way to describe it. I don't know. But like, I touch a dog and I instantly have to like scrub my hands clean, like Febreze. Like, I, I don't like the smell of dog, which is hard for me because dogs are like the cutest things ever. But I hate the smell of them, which is why I have cats. Because they're kind of like dogs. And I mean, they're cute in their own way, obviously. I just don't like the smell of dog. I can't. It just hurts my nose. My sinuses flare up. And I just don't like the smell of dog. Maybe I'm allergic to dog. I wouldn't. I could be allergic to dogs. But wouldn't I also be allergic to cats? Because I know a lot of people who are, a lot of people who are only allergic to cats. But I've never heard of anyone who's only allergic to dogs. Maybe I am. I don't know. I don't know. Oh well, back to my- <laughs> ignore my little rambles about dogs being smelly. Okay. Hi. Oh. Your dog's cool. Ah, old Maxwell sure loves the attention. It's great to see another father daughter out here on such a sunny day. The dog is not your child. Where's yours? Brian gestures to a grassy knoll where a young girl sits on a checkered blanket. She's reading a book bigger than her head. What's it down and hands over? Uh. This is Daisy. She's reading the brothers. Her teacher tells me that she has the reading comprehension skills of a high schooler. Oh my god, it makes me think of Skylar so much. She's way too smart for her own good. It's like dangerous smart. Like, she, I feel like she could end up being like a new murderer. Like, she could be in loot. She could be, I was gonna say Sherlock, but no, she'd be more like, um, she'd be like a new Moriarty. I'm not even kidding, like, she's 
way too smart. And I just sense, I sense she's gonna go evil one day. She's insanely kind right now. Right now. But she's not afraid to hit someone if they make her mad. Which is something we're trying to work on. Evil good girl. No. <laughs> Maybe she's evil. Maybe she's not. I don't know. Then again, Sherlock's not very nice either. She could be a Sherlock. Could use her powers for good. She could. Skylar's gonna be a little Sherlock. Is that Karma Tom? No, there's no T in it. I don't know. Karma Zapal. It's gonna be blah blah blah. No. Whatever. <laughs> How old is she? Uh. Ten. She's a precocious little youngster. I can't, I can't keep my accent on when I'm trying to pronounce a word, but whatever. Skylar's 11, by the way, so it's pretty close to that, too. <clears throat> she's 11, and she's in 7th grade, which tells you enough about her. But only in 7th grade math. Her regular, regular school is in 5th grade. So, like, she goes to the middle school after lunch to take, to take math. Like, what? <laughs> they didn't even have that option when I was her age, nor would I have wanted it. But, you know. Whoa. Uh. My natural dad is, she kicks in. I must brag about my child's accomplishments. Oh no, it's happening. I always lose at this. I have not seen someone win ever at this game. I think Jack lost. I lost. I tried like seven times. I could not beat this. My boyfriend lost. This is a very hard mini game. <laughs> Go on, Daisy. Tell him about yourself. Um, I... That's my girl. Amanda, get in there. Okay, okay. Let's see if I can actually win one day of my life. I love this option, daughter. Can't switch daughters. Amanda's your only daughter. No! no. <laughs> flee. Do you really want to flee? No. <laughs> no. I don't know what happens if you say yes. It's just like automatic book for it. I don't know. Brag. Amanda here just recently won a local photography award. Wow, congratulations. Daisy actually just won a statewide poetry contest. Oh. Why is this such a hard game? Okay. Item. Um. Pull a wrinkled copy of Amanda's last graded card out of your back pocket. Dad. Awesome grades. Brian loses 25 HP. Biatch. You really carry that around everywhere? Ouch. Maybe it is kind of weird. You lose 5 HP. Daisy just started her weekly chess club at her elementary school computer lab. She's the president, too, of course. Dang, my high school doesn't even have a chess club. Our computer lab. My high school had a computer lab, but no one was allowed to use it. It was like, there was classes in there. But, like, you couldn't go in on your own and use a computer. There was a library, but that cost money. You lose 10 HP. Okay, I'm, I'm still in the lead. We got this, we got this. Brag. Last week, unprompted, Amanda helped an old woman with her grocery bills. It's extremely powerful. Brian loses 20 HP. Daisy sold enough candy. Candy bars is here to get the top prize. A canoe. We're taking it out next weekend. Really one of those sticky hand things. Oh my gosh, those things are horrible. Not the sticky hands, those are bad too, but there was any type of selling where it was candy or um I think we had like necklaces at one point. Any selling thing I've ever done, including Girl Scout Girl Scout cookies. I was lucky if I sold two of them. Like, who doesn't do well selling Girl Scout cookies? Well, it's like I guess other people managed to get there before I did? I don't know. But I've never been able to sell anything. Like, even to family. My family's like, well, I'll buy one, or I'll buy two. And that's all I managed to sell it to. Like, I don't know if it's necklaces, or candy, or cookies, or whatever we happen to be selling. I've never won anything. In elementary school, I think my mom... Did she buy... I think she brought it to her office or something. I don't know. I think I got something once. Once. And it was like a new homework pass. Like, that's all I got. <laughs> And everyone else got, like, these, like, fancy prizes. I don't know how people do this. Like, do you have just, like, a million family members? Because they say don't take it around school. And maybe they do, maybe they just don't listen to it. But I'm like, I'll bring it to my mom's office. Um, 
that's all I could do. I didn't have a dad's office because you know he didn't live close enough. Um, maybe they sit outside of Walmart or something. I don't know. I've never been able to win anything with those really. So I don't know how people do that. I I I think it's just a joke. I don't think it's even possible to win anything. That's how it seems. You know? Whatever. Back to my thing. Hmm. It's extra powerful. You lose 20 HP. Oh shit. Okay, I'm still five ahead. I might be able to do this. Might be able to do this. Uh, I'm at this in all honors classes this semester. This is 10 HP. Oh, really? I'm actually talk talking to Daisy's teachers about having her skip a grade. This is Skylar. Skylar is Skylar is Daisy, apparently. Does she skip two grades? <laughs> You would imagine the kind of bristles of that one. You lose 20 HP. Shit. Oh, I'm not behind. Not behind. Um. I know that I know what happens to most of those, so I don't want to use any of those. I can't go back. I can't go back. I need to go back. I know none of these end up being good. Ugh. Band-aid. The floor removes the band-aid from your pocket. Take a knee and start to apply to Mansa. What are you doing, Dad? Being a protective parent. Anyone who agrees in an unusual gesture, you lose 10 HP. No! <laughs> no! It was kind of weird, but I'm like, I don't know what else to put. Dang, he's really got us. Boy, it's been such a treat getting to meet you two. I almost won. I almost won. That's close to I've ever gotten to winning. Uh, you got that insult to injury by being such a gracious winner. So I take you guys are new to the neighborhood. We just moved in. You live around here? Yeah. Yeah. We live in that cul-de-sac down to down next to the coffee shop. His accent keeps changing. I'm so sorry, you guys. I am trying to keep one accent and switching because like I have to switch between the two and it's confusing my own mind. My own mind. My brind. I was gonna say brain, I was gonna say mind, and I don't know what I'm talking about half the time. Blah blah blah. <laughs> what a coincidence, that's where we live too. Small world, yeah. Daisy are in that little ranch style house in the corner. I know that house. It's just like ours, but slightly bigger, better landscape. Does this guy have to outdo me at everything? What a lovely place. <laughs> well, I, I don't want to take any more of your time. Really nice meeting you guys. You'll have to stop by at some point. Yeah, definitely. Bye. Bye. I don't know. <laughs> Brian and Daisy walk further into the park with Maxwell happily trotting in tow. You get the feeling that he was trying to one-up us. Mm -hmm. Trying and succeeding. Can't believe the kid's only 10. What was I even doing at her age? Uh, I believe you had a bit of a thing for horses. <laughs> Shame that didn't pan out. Could have majored in competitive horse... Comparative horse studies. Her smile is so cute. It's not too late to minor in horse creative what? writing. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> too close to the truth, Dad. Ugh. Let us never speak of the fantastic adventures of Sir Her so, blah, blah, blah. so Sir 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 not Sir Sir Horsing Ten the Brave, an epic in seven parts by Amanda McKenzie. <laughs> we laugh off the horse epic and walk around the park a bit more, enjoying the day. I don't want to go to the coffee shop. <laughs> Let's take a nap. Well, this sunlight's making me real tired. I don't think I got enough sleep last night. You slept for 14 hours. Only? What is wrong with you now? I go, I go to the point where I either sleep for an hour, or I sleep for like 16. I don't have a middle ground. I, I never do. I can try, like I'll try to go to bed early or something. And then I end up just laying in bed all night, trying to go to sleep. Then I'll try setting an alarm, and then for some reason I sleep through it. So it's like, I don't have a middle ground. I, I can't, you know. <laughs> you slept for 14 hours. Exactly. Exactly. First is the worst, second is the best, third is the one with the hairiest chest. We always did that dorky stuff as kids, oh my gosh. Drink plenty of water. No! I got coffee here. I literally have coffee. Which usually I don't have coffee, so you can't blame that. 
But I mean, it's only like 11.59, 49 right now, so it's not even midnight yet. I can drink my coffee. Blech. Caribou. It's okay. Echo, does that make me loud enough to hear? Am I loud enough to hear with my coffee, Echo? I don't know. I'm sure my neighbors think I'm fucking insane, if they can hear me. They probably can. <laughs> As we're walking home, I hear heavy footsteps come behind us. Okay, so this guy, pretty much everyone has chose this guy to date. And that's why I never did. I didn't go on any dates or anything with him, because... Well, I went on the first two, because, you know, that's the point there. You know, I went on the first two with everyone, even if I didn't like them. But... All his dates and stuff were about working out and sports and things I absolutely just would never like. Like, if I loved someone, I would probably go to them and on their on their sporting events, I would support them and stuff. But maybe work out once a week at most. But, like, I'm not going to change for you. And as you know, I can't, I can't do a lot of the sport things due to my asthma and just plain being out of shape. So, you know, I don't want to, I'm not going to change for someone. And this game, he tries to change for him. And that's kind of why I'm like, eh, eh, you know what I mean? Plus he's a bro. Elijah, bro. No, what, what voice do I want to give him? Elijah, bro. 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 I didn't hear I turn around and agree by familiar face jogging up to us. Craig? Hmm. Bro. Bro. Oh. Holy. Why? Wow, I haven't seen Craig in forever. His baby's a cutie. Honestly, I like that he has a baby. That'd be really happy. Because that's like the only person that has a baby. Well, technically, Joseph has a baby. You just never see. You never see Krish, I think is the name. Hmm? If you haven't played the game, I feel like I'm like spoiling a lot of stuff for you right now. But right now, I think everyone's either played it or seen someone play it. Been too long, dude. Yeah, wow, you, you look great. Hey! <laughs> yeah, cleaned up my act. Cleaned up his act? Are you kidding me? He's ripped. Amanda, this is my friend Craig. We went to college together. We were roommates for a while, too. <laughs> Amanda, dude, you probably don't remember me, but you're so big now. <laughs> hello, and hello, cute baby. Mm -hmm. Aw, thank you. Last time I saw you were about her size. This is River. Say hi, River. I switched to country. I don't know what I'm doing with his voice. He picks up her tiny her, her waist, her wrist, and waves it around. River gurgles happily. Are you babysitting? <coughs> nah, dude. River's my kid. Man, it has been a long time. It was like one minute we're rolling up to exams with bad hangovers, and the next we're both fathers. Where you been, man? <coughs> I was working out in California, and just relocated this business back in Maple Bay. I'm switching between a country and kind of like a jock bro voice. I don't know what I'm doing with his voice. Bro. <laughs> no kidding, Amanda and I just moved to the side of town. That was some Ashley doing. Oh, man. I mean, Ashley. Ashley's her name. <laughs> oh. She actually still goes by Smashley. And, uh, we got divorced last year. Oh, dude, I'm, I'm so sorry. Awkward. No, mm -hmm. It's all news. We take turns taking care of River and the twins. It's all co -petic. I know it, it means partnership. Like, not we're not butting heads or anything. We're being a safe, good, healthy relationship to take care of the kids. co I don't know. Twins? You have three kids? <laughs> Ain't life some, bro. Right? Keg Stan Craig is a father of three. <laughs> Keg Stan Craig? <laughs> oh, huh. It was my old college college name. He's blowing bubbles! River's blowing bubbles. It's so cute. I love River. River, 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 river. He got it because he did a lot of keg stands. <laughs> stand on a keg and then drink from the keg you know i've never done that guys like i really have never done it 
And then again, I don't go to like college ravers like everyone's talking about. You know, they always they always told me high school would be like parties all the time. And they said college would be even more parties than you had in high school. I think I went to the bar once. But I've never been to a party. So I don't well, I went to one party and we just sat around bored as shite. Everyone was bored of shite. Like we didn't do anything. We just kinda sat there like, so we got beer. What you wanna do? Like that's that's all the party was. Eh? Lame. Right. He was very good at it. Oh. Ah, bro, I hate to be that guy, but I'm in the middle of my daily jog and I really gotta keep up my heart rate. Brett River along for, you know, resistance training. You jog daily? I jog yearly? <laughs> On January first, I promised myself that I'm gonna jog daily for the rest of the year. We give up after thirty minutes and just walk home. Get back into it, dude. You should join me sometime. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Hey! Come on, it'll be fun. We can grab breakfast afterwards. Catch up. We can do like a bro brunch, like the good old days. Alright, sure. Sounds great. Mm -hmm. Great. Let's get that going soon. I better get moving. Good to see you guys. Craig gives a little wave, puts his, earbud ear bleh bleh, put his earbuds back in. She's like, you think he's cute, don't you? <laughs> Craig I know is not fit to be responsible for any living thing, including his, especially himself. Ah! It went away! Amanda, he opened up a new jar of marinara sauce and then drank it like it was a thing that normal people do. It was unholy, and when I asked him what the hell he was doing, he said, and I quote, it's basically a smoothie, bro. <laughs> I mean, technically, he's not wrong. People jog. It's like a totally different person. Anyway, we better get home. I have plenty. I'll have plenty of time to reflect on how old I feel later. Amanda and I flop down on the couch. I have to shove some empty boxes out of the way before she can sit. Yeah. Too bad we're putting my stuff right back in these boxes in a few months. No! Don't say that. Hmm. Aw, oh, Dad, it's gonna be okay. I'll be fine. I know, I know. It's just... You're my little girl. It's gonna be weird not having you around. <laughs> I'll come visit, and I'll text you every day, and I'll take lots of pictures. This is kind of like how I felt with Skylar when I moved out for college, so it's like a little flip there. But I felt like, you know, she's, she's my little baby. I haven't seen her in forever, and... I see her... Once every few months now, and she doesn't text back like she used to, and... I miss my little girl. Every time I see her, she's so much bigger than she was. You know, it's it's disappointing. It's really disappointing to see how much she's changed. It is, it is. Very sad, very sad. I'd hate to bring up more sad news, but... I don't know if I ever mentioned it, but I did visit family, um, fairly recently. It ended up very bad. Uh, I had to kind of go home early, a day early. Uh, originally, I was, you know, just to be good. I was just going to visit them, get my car inspected, get my car fixed, because all those issues with where it still smelled and didn't work, you know. So we were going to go to the actual main dealership there, and we didn't do that, apparently. Um, we were going to do a lot of stuff. We did get the inspection done. I got the inspection done. Uh, we didn't really hang out with family at all. And then at the end of it, my mom told me that my brother is getting all the inheritance, all the money, the house, and custody of Skylar. I'm getting nothing because she knows I spend any money I get on surgery or testosterone, and she doesn't approve of that lifestyle, so she doesn't want me doing it. So she doesn't want me to for it. And I mean, I don't know how much money she has or anything, but that's very disappointing. Uh, from the way she phrased it, my sister's not getting anything either, so... At least I'm not alone? I don't know. Very disappointing. I didn't think I was getting a scent from her anyway, but... I thought that was just because she didn't have a scent to her name. Not that I was kicked out of the will. So, yeah, that's a thing that happened. Yeah. But yeah, as I mentioned, this was like a, you know, kind of missing out with Skylar, not seeing her. 
it was really disappointing, and um, now I know I won't be getting custody of her, which I didn't think anyone would be. I'd assume her dad, or like my grandma or something. So I guess my mom assumes my grandma's gonna die before she is. I don't know. But uh, now I know I'm not getting custody of Skylar, and my brother is. And he doesn't even want custody of her. He's like, ew, I don't want a kid. Maybe I can get him to sign off and give it to me. Give her to me. But I'm sure there's something in the will. Or if there's not, you can add it. And that says, do not ever give custody to this person. I'm sure that I'm sure she could add that easily. But back to my game. <laughs> I'll come visit and I'll text you every day and I'll take lots of pictures. I mean, obviously, I'm a photography major. You promise? Mm. Of course. Are you going to be okay by your lonesome? No, come on, I'll be fine. I'll get a dog or something. I love her fucking eyes. I'm sorry. I've, I've noticed it and I haven't mentioned it yet, but her eyes are just gorgeous. The shape and her little pig nose. But I mean, I love the coloring, the brown and then the gold in there. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Hey! A dog? Hey! Get art school, I'll stay for the dog. Is that what it's gonna take? <laughs> Medium sized dog, handkerchief around the neck. I get to name it. That's what it'll cost me to give up all my dreams. I'm a woman of simple wants and needs. We're not having Brian's dog. I refuse to date Brian just so you can stay here. Well, I'm kind of curious if she would mention it later on and be like, so I know I promised, but I'm not staying. I wonder if she would. I wonder. I'm almost tempted to choose Brian now, but not for this playthrough. Well, a dog is a lot cheaper than college. Panda <laughs>, laughs. She's so pretty. I love her. She's so precious. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, a pile of envelopes slides through the mail slot. We just moved here. Why is there mail? I thought it took like two weeks to get your first letter, other than like, you know, the current resident or the person who used to live there's mail. I got that. I still get that. And I've been here like two months now, but speaking of college, I'm gonna darts over to the envelopes and shuffles through them. She pulls one out and throws the rest back on the yes. floor. It's from Miss it's from McGowan College of Art and Design. Open it. Mm. But I'm scared. It's just an envelope. Mm. Yeah, it's just like my entire future, not a big deal. I was terrified to open my college envelopes. I got accepted into uh Rice University. You know, one of, like, the Harvard Ivy League schools? Not Harvard. Harvard's its own school. But, you know, I was accepted into a Har Ivy League school. I kind of applied to that as a joke, because I was like... I don't know. I don't know why I applied to it, but I thought it would be good for some reason. But, um, yeah. <laughs> but I was terrified to open the school's actually one and two's letters. Eh? She takes a deep breath and rips the letter open with her teeth. We have a letter opener, but okay. Does anyone actually own a le letter opener? I've never seen one in real life. I've like seen them in movies. And I mean, I've heard some people collect them because they look pretty, but like they don't actually use them. I've never actually seen someone own a letter opener and use said letter opener. I've never seen one in real life. If you have one, I'd love to see it one day. Just send me pictures on Twitter of letter openers with no explanation. I'll be really happy. <laughs> mm -hmm. My breath while men decided to start back and forth, scanning the, scanning the letter. What does it say? Uh, the admissions committee has reviewed your application. Blah, blah, blah. Um, we... <sighs> Her face drops. Regret to inform you that you were, we are unable to offer you a mission to McGowan College of Art and Design. <sighs> Amanda throws the letter on the coffee table. They may have put you on, like, hold. Like, you know, if someone decides not to go, you could be the next in line. That happens sometimes. Oh, sweetie. <clears throat> it's okay. I kind of saw it coming. I knew I shouldn't have put that experimental stuff in my portfolio. Their administration's officer told me that they just want to see portraits or whatever. I pull Amanda in for a big hug. You're an amazing photographer. I know how much work you put your your portfolio. Some other school's going to want to snatch you up for sure. <clears throat> yeah. I know, that's fine. Are you actually fine, or are you just saying that? Mm -hmm. I'm fine, really. Her face is the opposite, but I probably shouldn't push her on that. Mm -hmm. Oh, and before I forget, Emma R and Emma P are sleeping over tonight. <sighs> so... You need me out of the way because I'm painfully uncool. <laughs> I would choose more delicate phrasing, but yes. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm getting a blanket, I'm freezing.
I was like burning up, so I took off like my clothes and my binder and everything, and now I'm freezing. I love her face there. And I don't mean I'm naked. I have a shirt on. <laughs> a shirt and boxers, and now I have a blanket. Bleh. Okay. <laughs> Why did I turn it down? I'm gonna turn my heater back on. <laughs> back and forth, back and forth. I'm sure my electric bill loves me. Actually, my electric bill is due today. <laughs> Hold the device. I don't know what it is today, guys. I'm like cramping like crazy. <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but I don't know if I could, I hurt myself somehow. I don't know what I did, but okay. That's a little better. My heater's turning on, and I'm cuddled with a blanket. I'm still freezing my butt off, but we'll see. <laughs> I'm trying to decide where to end this video. I think I'll end it at the end of the day. I think we have to meet Joseph first before it ends. Well, I'll have you know that conveniently already have plans for tonight, so you'll have the new place to yourself. Mm. Yeah? And <laughs> what are your plans? Quick, think of plans. Alright, oh, this is when we meet, um, Robert. So, did we not meet Joseph this time? Oh, because I took a nap. I didn't meet him, I guess. But I have to meet him sometime, because he has to invite me to the barbecue. I don't know. Got to attend a uni meeting. Boss man's been riding a pro proles too hard. It's time to rise up for our rights. Mm. Dad, you're not even gonna invite me to the riot? I'm sorry, sweetie. It's an honest day's work for an honest day's riot. I'm hungry. No, okay, I got this whole mystery pack of airheads. Well, not mystery, but you know, like I got, I got like a assorted package of them, and they all or blue raspberry, or watermelon. Like, every single one is blue raspberry or watermelon. I wanted an orange. Orange is my favorite. There you go. Nice little fact about me. I love orange. But mango, I'm allergic to. So, careful what color orange. It has to be orange orange. Not mango orange. I'm just kidding. I'm actually going to... Hmm. Well, she didn't want me home. But I don't... Robert's awesome. But I kind of don't want to go see him, because I've always seen that path. So I want to... Go to bed. I'm wiped. Have fun with the MS. <laughs> we'll, try to, we'll try to keep it down. I know you're not going to, but I appreciate you saying that. Mm. Don't forget you have that meeting with my English teacher tomorrow. I love how we act like it's night and it's literally like bright as spook outside. Maybe we live in Alaska. We probably do. All right, Mr. Vega. Yep, totally remembered. I'll be there. Awesome. Night, pops. Put on my pajamas to make myself a nice mug of mint tea to get ready for bed. I can even hear Amanda and her friends laughing from her room. I didn't know they actually let us do this. You know, some of the options she's like, right, totally. Now what are you really doing? You're not staying home. But I guess they do let you do this. It's kind of cool. They okay, have a fun night. I'm really glad I met us. They're such sweet friends. Even if I can never remember their names. Their names are Emma. <laughs> it's easier to remember because they're both the same. Mm. There we go. There's Joseph. Just as I'm heading towards my room, the doorbell rings. possibly won't need anything from me right now. Do they know what time it is? I have pajamas on. <laughs> I always have pajamas on. I walk over to the door and open it. Hello? <laughs> Why are you in the middle of the night, Joseph? Go home. Also, so wait, wait. And normal one of this, Amanda steals a plate of cookies. Do all of her friends take the cookies this time? Or is it still going to be just her? And some clean-cut man stands at my door, brandishing a plate of cookies. Hello? It's at least 8 o'clock at night, because it's dark. <laughs> Most people in their 40s or so 
I just realized my mouse is on his crotch. Most people in their 40s or so are typically in bed by a 10 at absolute latest, but they're they're not going anywhere after like 6 o'clock at night. Go to bed, Joseph. I'm already going to bed myself. No. Hi, I know it's kind of late, but I baked way too many cookies and I just can't have these in my house or I'll eat them all. You're so flaming gay, Joseph. I love you. No, I told you, he's my he was my first choice. Like, he's so gay. <laughs> hmm. At least he acknowledges it's late. Excellent. Oh, where are my manners? My name's Joseph. I'm your next door neighbor. Hi. I know I just barged into some random stranger's house. It's probably been empty for the longest time, and I just guess there was someone living here now. But I have cookies. You want to date me? That's kind of what it seems like he's doing. Oh, yes. Hi, I'm Elijah. That's what my name is. <laughs> I saw the moving van, thought I'd do the neighborly thing and bring you some. Okay, so he knew I was here, at least. Somewhat. My daughter, Christy, wanted, to wanted me to let you know she baked them herself. Just sort of leans in and whispers. Ooh. Get out of my personal space. I don't know you. Get out of my space. Oh. So between you and me, she just she just sprinkled in the chocolate chips. <laughs> Good one. The boys share a laugh. Kids, right? All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Amanda pokes her head out of her room and immediately hones in on the cookies. Wow, cookies, huh? So nice to meet you. Well, Joseph pounds her the plate of cookies with a smile. Yeah. Uh. Well, thanks for the cookies. <laughs> Lawrence of Arabia. What did she say? Or was it he that said? I don't know what they said. I don't know what they said. If you guys know what they said, please tell me. Amanda disappears with the cookies. Mm. Amanda, come back. And she's gone. That's my daughter. Her name's Amanda. She's a charmer. <laughs> Daughters are tough. Sons are also tough. Oh. Children in general are just tough. <laughs> I hear that. I mean, you have to be something wrong with you to try to raise more than two. <laughs> okay. I have four kids. What have you done? <laughs> oh, uh, hi, Mans. <laughs> Don't worry, you didn't mean to be rude. Oh no, it's the first neighbor I've met. My social life's already in a tailspin. What if it's too late to move again? To be fair, you met Brian already, and you met, uh, you re-met Craig. I don't know. Yeah, he said he was in the cul-de-sacs. I know he lives here. I don't know if he told you yet. I think he did. I don't know if he did yet. But you at least know you've met Brian. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh. Is the missus around? Mister, actually. Because I'm flaming gay. And, er, uh, no, not anymore. He died. Uh, uh, oh. Yeah, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I'm sorry for your loss. No, no, it, it's alright. Wow, this is uncomfortable. We stand there quietly for a moment, actively aware of how awkward we both made things. Mm. I'm sorry, can you close the door real quick? Now, I know this guy is voiced by Aaron, and Aaron, like, chose a lot of factors about him, so I'm trying... I, I, I normally would have been like, oh, let's try Aaron's voice. I cannot do Aaron's voice to save my life. So just imagine a Aaron voice. I, I don't even know how to describe his voice. It's, uh, Aaron-y. <laughs> if you don't know who that is, that's, um, one of the main game, grump game grumps. Watch any video, and you can probably hear Aaron. He's in like 99% of them, it seems. But yeah. I look at Joseph quizzingly, but comply. After a second, I hear a knock on the door opening, and I see Joseph standing there with a huge smile. <laughs> hey, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. I promise not to talk about your dead spouse this time. I'm throwing a barbecue for the cool to second. I'd love for you to come by and meet the rest of the neighbors in the community. What do you say, pal? You have fangs. I just noticed he has fangs. Okay. <laughs> That sounds great. My daughter and Amanda and I would love to stop by. Also, four kids is a perfectly normal amount of children to have. Nom, 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 nom. I'm chewing, sorry. We shake hands to seal the deal. <clears throat> well, neighbor, I'll let you get to bed. See you at 3 p.m. on Saturday. It's okay, another acknowledgement that it's late. I don't know if they would change the dialogue a little bit because of that. Sure thing, neighbor. 
Joseph stops walking away, but, think, but stops think for a second and turns around. <laughs> hey, in all seriousness, raising a kid on your own can't be easy. If you ever need to talk about stuff, I'm the youth minister at the church down the street. Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't really consider myself a youth. Yeah. You look pretty young to me, but suit yourself. Stop flirting with me, Aaron. You're very cute, and I want to go with you. But I told myself no Joseph this round. No Joseph this round. Bad self. Bad. Bad. If you know his story, he's married because it was expected of him to marry a female. So he married a female and had kids. But he is gay as can be. Like, not even bi. Like, he is fully 100% gay. And married solely because he was expected to. His wife is insanely abusive. He cheats a lot. So, that's, in a way, abusive as well. They're both horrible, horrible people who cheat on each other. And I feel bad for Joseph. I really do. And I would love to date him. But even even the good ending, he still stays with his wife and wants you, like, on the side. So, I don't... No, no, no. In a poly relationship, I wouldn't mind. But he's wanting, like, he's a mono relationship and he's just cheating. His wife knows that he's cheating. Which, I don't know. I mean, I guess if she's okay with it, it would be Polly. I, d I don't know. But I'm kind of, eh, about that one. But he's such a charmer. And with that, Joseph's gone. He seemed nice. I'm eating. I'm fucking hungry. Sorry. I cost too much at night. I cost too much in general. I would say sorry about that and that I will stop, but that would be a lie. I'm eating my airhead. <laughs> I'm trying not to smack here. <laughs> sorry, it was chewy. Um, it's officially midnight, well... Twelve sixteen. So I'm now on the thirteenth day. Thirteenth day, right? Yeah, it's it's February thirteenth. Because you know the minute beginning I mentioned I'm restarting this again on February the twelfth, so you won't see this video until February the thirteenth because I'm still recording it and it's February thirteenth. That explanation might have made sense. I don't know. I'm almost to the hour mark. And it's not even at a good place to stop yet. But whatever. Amanda walks back in the living room, crumbs on her face and cookie in hand. That was the smoothest recovery I've ever seen. I should be taking notes. That was not smooth at all. He was just like, fuck, hot dude. Uh... I'm not upset. You're, um, sorry your spouse is dead. I will not mention it. Please come to my barbecue. And I'm like, oh, totally cool. I'll be there. Also, four kids is completely normal. I think that is great. That's basically what her their thing went on. Still insanely awkward, but dorky in a way that I probably would be like, either avoid him completely, or maybe talk to him again. But it wouldn't be a middle. It'd be like, you were super interesting, or you were insanely awkward, I will not speak to you again. That'd be my two reactions. Yep. <laughs> See, you're already fitting in great. Where'd those cookies go? Mm. They're gone. I'm sorry. Yeah! Makes you feel any better. They weren't very good. So you ate all of them anyway? Hey, the, the Emma's probably helped. <laughs> uh, the Emma's helped. <laughs> and the original con- And I love how the dialogue changes, because in the original dialogue, she's like, Yupper, yupper, yupperoonie, something like that. But the Emma's helped. She painted her nails. I don't think they were painted before. The Emma's painted her nails. How pretty. The Emma's helped. Well, kiddo, I'm gonna go catch some Z's. Hurry, the Z's are getting away. <laughs> I'm sorry, I love dad puns. And my boyfriend is like 99% pun. Like, I, it's the best way to describe him. Puns and... Puns. <laughs> that's probably why we get along so well. <laughs> yeah, there's so many good th great things about him, but that's probably what drew me to him. He's just a punny guy. <laughs> 
I run down the hall towards my bedroom, he actually ran. The other Emmas are probably like, so strange, I love your dad. I'm hot on the trail, I'll get 12 hours of cold quality sleep if it's the last thing I do. The Emmas are like, he's fucking insane, I love him. As I shut the door behind me, Amanda's laugh echoes through the hallway. No! I was gonna do the whole meeting everyone first thing. I think it already saved, I'll save again. But I'm gonna cut it off here because we're almost at an hour mark and we still haven't met most of the dads, but I really didn't want to record any more of this because the video is already gonna be long and it's gonna take like four hours to render as it is, so you know. Um but yeah. Hope you guys loved my um part two of Dream Daddy. There's a lot more to the game, obviously. You've met um, you've only met three of the dads so far. Ah, it went away! Dream Daddy. Now, there's a lot more to the dads. There's the old childhood friend, Craig. There's the coffee shop owner, um, Matt. There is Brian, the one who tries to one-up you. There is Robert. One in red, he's the bad boy who's always drunk and actually has severe mental illness. He's voiced by Danny. Um, the one next to him, either top or bottom, he's on both, is um, Damien. He's gothic and he's trans. Canonly trans. Um, I don't know if it... I never really played his story that much, so I don't know if it mentions that, um... But what I heard is that he got raped, and that's why he has a son. And that's also why there's no, um, mother in the picture, because he is mother and father to the son. But it could be an old relationship, and they had a surrogate or adopted, or maybe it was her kid and she died or something, I'm not sure. But Damien is currently male and is trans. That's all I know for sure. Um, the guy next to him is Mr. Vega, Hugo, which is um, your daughter's teacher, as she mentioned. He's very, very smart. So smart it makes me seem like a moron, and I'm usually pretty good at some stuff. But um, he's a, into wrestling. So if you know any wrestling things... He makes a lot of John Cena jokes and things like that. I don't know. I don't understand anything he's talking about 99% of the time. I don't know what he's talking about. He also likes cheese. Like, it's really like cheese plates and stuff. I don't know. And there's Joseph coming around the corner on the top. It's like a racing thing. There's Joseph coming around the corner. Uh, you, you met him. He's the gay dad who is uh, currently married. And I gave you a lot about his info there. Now, I really hope this recorded correctly, because we're almost at an hour mark, like I said. So, and I don't want to re-record, re, 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 redo, whatever the word would be. I don't want to do that. So, we're going to call it quits here. And, um, TFCom signing off. Bye, guys.